Look at the scratching on the rocks. Oh, yeah, it's everywhere. That's insane. Rolling mill mine coal. Yeah. The thing these men worked till they died for. Johnstown, Pennsylvania, also known as the Flood City. A city haunted by a dark past full of tragedy and death. Already plagued by the aftermath of the three great floods, this is the true definition of a ghost town. Cemeteries throughout the town and surrounding cities are filled with the victims of town's various accidents, including the floods and the rolling mill mine catastrophe of 1902 at the base of the historic Johnstown Incline Flood better known as the Klondike. Well, there again, we see it come from a shack. Any information on the Rolling Mills Mine catastrophe from 1902? No, I see you got that brown paper, but yeah. that's about all I got. That's basically about it. Great. The last run, mm -hmm. quarter of 10 tonight. Oh. So, if you're past quarter of 10, yeah. you're up here. Get your cell phone out and call for the cat. <laughs> it's a long walk Now you see this drum that the cable's wrapped on? Yes, sir. That's number eight. That's a 16-foot diameter drum. This is true. That drum is an original piece of equipment from 1891 when wow. it first started operating. We still use it today. Back here, uh, number one. Well, it's actually over a little bit from number one, but that's a 400 horsepower electric AC motor that we use to uh, get our car from. That is great. But uh, then if you want to, uh, here's a piece of original cable, not the re-original, but a piece of cable, uh -huh. put that, a piece of cable that did actually uh, was used. And that piece was made by Bethlehem Steel. And of course, Bethlehem Steel was defunct. No, you know, yeah. But you can look in the end, you can see how it was woven. After attempting to gain more information on the Klondike, I was surprised to learn many Johnstown natives have no idea of the story or its existence. And the ones who did were reluctant to speak about it or the haunting. The Klondike is a rarely visited location. According to local legend, the base of the incline plane on the trail of the rolling mill mine is haunted by spirits of miners trapped in the bowels of the Klondike where they were trapped too deep to be rescued. We have a trail here that leads to the rolling mill mine. It's about a quarter of a mile up on the left-hand side. It, the mine ran in the early, eight, late 1800s, from like 1870 through 1920. And there was an accident there in, the, in 1902 that killed 112 miners. Um, the explosion happened because of a nauseous gas, but they're not sure if it was caused by a beam falling or one of the miners opening their hats because they had gas, gas lid hats. Um, they're not sure what caused the accident. Um, the first day they found 85 bodies and the subsequent bodies were found in the days after that. And some of the miners that were brought out alive were later, were later died of their injuries. There was one miner who was thought to be dead who actually came back to life. They thought he was dead and um, during his weight process he woke up. Um, and then there was a little a young boy who was in his who was 15 years old, it was only his second day in the mine when he died. Um, there are stories that people have seen miners on the trail, um, but the mine hasn't been operating since 1920. 
the, the most um, believable story is one of a 10 year old boy who was walking the trail in the 1980s and he came home and told his parents that he met two miners on the trail but the mine hadn't been operating for several years. He said they were carrying the lunch boxes and they had gas lamps with them. Um, so it was a very believable story because the story of the mine wasn't really well known in Johnstown at the time and the little boy would not have learned about it in school or heard anything about it before so it's very believable that he has seen ghosts. Nineteen oh two. Hundred twelve men died inside this mountain. None was left alive to tell what really caused the explosion. The bodies of the only seven showed marks of having been burnt. The rest have been suffocated almost instantly from an aftermath of most poisonous character. Yep. The force of the explosion was almost incredibly, incredibly small, wrote one investigator. Thus, but I doubt if there was any event where the after after damp was so destructive as in this case. After damp is black damp, as it is called by miners, it was created when methane gas and oxygen igniting using up the oxygen and replacing it with deadly carbon oxide gas. With repair of a few doors that had been blown off at the mine, it was back in operation just Three days after the catastrophe, oh inspectors for the Bureau of Mines read what evidence they found indicated the exploding had been caused by a locked safety lamp carried Here. by a, a miner. A man who was reckless enough to lay aside his safety and use his naked lamp for the sake of getting better light. Air is thinning out a little bit. It's really damp. Does it look like it's sliding down there? No. No, it doesn't look like there's a slide? No. Don't fall. Please don't. Be careful. It just keeps getting lower and lower. It's a yeah, that's probably where they use those beds, <coughs> the little bed thingies. What? In mines, the little bed things that get down into the mine. That's like probably a, where they went. Like a rope sliding. Yeah, the little bed thing. So that's, they'll do that. It will get smaller and then once you get to the big opening. How much space is down there? 
Hold on. Shh, shh. See, I told you that's where they put the bed thing. Oh, uh, shit. It's getting lower and lower in here. Oh look. So you know there's a, it's a little wet over here. Old steel pan. Might be here from 1902. Not really sure what it might have been used for, but it's caved under these rocks, so it's had to be here for a long time. Could be also an air shaft. Yeah. Yeah. Down this way. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is where we this is where we end it because this is where it caved in at. Yeah, and it's all blocked off. And it's all blocked off. There's a little wait, 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 wait. there's a little hole over there, but I don't think we want to go down that far. But uh yeah, it's gonna be a really tight squeeze over down that way, so I don't think we'll be able to go down there. But we made it pretty far. It looks like this is where it all collapsed because there's a really wide space here. Yeah. There's a big there. space over there. Yeah. yeah between the walls. Big. But, uh, yeah, pretty much. I guess this is where we're going to end it, but, uh, you want to get the ghost session? We'll set that there for a while. I don't know how long for it's recording. Is recording. It's called an AVP. It's called Electronic Voice Phenomena, and it captures uh, uh, spirits if they're talking idea, and stuff like yeah, that that the stuff. human ear can't hear. There you go. Okay, um, this 17-year-old Mike Sabbath. He came in to help his um coworker, and supposedly whenever he was there, the Con or Conrad's was still clenched on him when he died and he died while trying to save him. So I think that's pretty crazy. And I mean, that's pretty young to die. In the, right in the location where it happened, just about. Yeah, yeah I feel yeah. it too. I heard something over there, that's why I'm seeing this way. It sounded like something. When you said that, I felt that go right So maybe it was him. Maybe it was him. Yeah, but Seriously. probably before he it went by you, I heard something drop over there, that's why I wonder she was talking about. I, look, I heard it over there somewhere. Are the EVPs still rolling? Yeah. yeah it's probably on the tape, yeah. so we'll check it out so at the end. maybe he was trying to re-counter and help his co-worker. Yeah. Well, we'll do maybe that. that's what happened. Don, look toward Eugene and exhale again. It's getting so cold to the point in here now, I'm starting to see people's breaths as yeah. they talk. And that is creepy as hell. As we spoke more about Mike Sabbath, it became increasingly harder to breathe in the mine. The air began to cool, and breathing became noticeably thicker. Scratching on the rocks. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. look at the yeah, it's everywhere. Wow. I'm surprised they even fit this far back through because uh, I'm a pretty big guy. I'm like, <coughs> what, 6'3? Mm -hmm. like, yeah, I had a rough time with that.
best time. It's been over a hundred years since the accident took place and there's still coal to be found in here from the miners. Small pieces of coal. Rolling mill mine coal. Yep. The thing these men worked till they died for. Right. As y'all can see, you know, it's, <coughs> it's sweating in here. Yeah. Cold, right Cold air, condensation's got the ceiling dripping. That's what forms the lag pipes. The lag pipes. In words. Yeah, but then lag pipes make soft air gas. Yeah. So yeah, they do. And you better not uh, touch it because you'll not. Well, it's not only really that. I wouldn't light a match in here. Yeah. Oh. No, no, no. Yeah. My right there, there's a piece of wood. Film that. Oh. Right there. Where? Right there. Oh, shit. That's where. Oh, no, where? Uh, no, no, that's, no, that's, that's mine that's support. Cool. Yeah. That's, that's a support. support. Damn. Oh, right oh, here, we oh, still have a piece of the actual so wall that support. Just, that was the support. It was low. The, the floor was way lower than yeah. Oh, yeah. This is probably the top. Yeah, this is. Wow. Yeah, we're at the top. Bro. Yeah, and Crazy. this is all caving that we're sitting on. Yeah. All right, it's dark out here now. It's, the sounds are happening. I noticed um, coming out there, I was pretty short of breath. Um, Lopez is still catching her breath. Yes. We didn't have a problem going in the first time, but it seemed like on the way out, like it, it was a struggle. Like it, it got really hard to breathe. I um, mean, it started to get really cold and we started to hear a lot of sound. I'm still winded right now. But. The rest of the um, the rest of the teams on their way out now. Um, we we found some coal and a few other things after over a hundred years. Oh. Oh wow. That's over a hundred years old of coal right here in this mine, and it's still here. Too. Well, you know there's a big difference coming look, out of that. Look, that look at this fucking thing. Oh, and, and hold this, hold this. Wow. And, um, I also found... Over a hundred years right there in his hand. That's part and of her um, hand. That's part of the beam. Uh-huh. Yo. Look at all that. Got. Woo! Oh, hold on, let me back. Look at all that. Woo! That's the real deal right there. Rolling mill mine. That's history. That's all that's left. Yep. After all the deaths, this is what they, they worked so hard for. Thank you. And here it is. They died the dust yes, off it. So everybody else felt like it was hard to come out that piece. How was y'all's breathing coming out? It's kind of staggered. It was, it was, yeah. Like, oh, we were later. really concerned about what, what to get, but I can feel myself breathing a little heavier now. Yeah. I'm yeah. breathing a lot heavier now out That's here. That's how I feel. Yeah. It felt like in there, I can breathe perfectly, but now that I'm out of there. Yeah, the air's different. Yeah. Different. yeah. It's heavier it's out here. My recorder has stopped. It's still up on record, but it stopped like halfway. I have no idea why. I'm, I'm <coughs> going to stop it, see if it will resume, and it's not resuming. Horrors in the USA team encountered many technical issues while filming this episode. Paranormal investigators claim that the spirits can affect electronic devices. If this is so, maybe that explains what's going on with our equipment. But this cannot be proven as fact. Look, look, it started back up. See, that's why that's crazy. Yeah. That's yeah. Insane. It started back up. That's crazy. It's insane. Supposedly, you're supposed to see miners 
that they've seen like three or four miners in their mining gear walk this up and down. You're supposed to be supposed to hear uh, chiseling of coal and talking and stuff like that, but I don't know, maybe spotting nothing yet. So like, like when we were off film and I was behind everyone, I heard something like sound like it was uh, dropping off the top of where we were. But it sounded like it was going further down, hitting off walls. It sounded really creepy, but I mean, I'm not scared. It's just a little creepy because I heard it behind. Mm, they might, we might have woke them up. And they might have been reacting or whatever happened. Yeah. I I think when we started talking about um the 17 year old miner, yeah. like things started air. happening. We yeah. Felt the we felt air. The breath exactly. Yeah. The, the air completely right. changed. Yeah. Like when our breath was starting yeah. To well, it all too. it all it really all depends on who's actually haunting this. If there's if they're actually, if there's souls that are in there put to rest, that are rest, or malevolent, like restless spirits, they will roam this and they will see yeah. what's going on and try to interact with us and, mm -hmm. you know, and you never just know, maybe try you were to, trying to say help me or trying to get yeah. in your act I mean, stuff, they'll, they'll move your hair, they'll touch you, they'll... Yeah. You look a little shook, Lopez, how you feel? I couldn't breathe coming out of that tunnel. You couldn't breathe? I couldn't breathe. Yeah, I think we got pretty much good stuff here. Yeah, we got some. Oh, we caught some stuff. stuff on there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Got some I mean, it was a little hard to breathe, but, you know, I mean, we were, we were in history. We were definitely in history. All right, party. All right, now, I'm going to have, like, a weird taste in my mouth. Weird. Like, it doesn't taste really good. I mean, after breathing in there, yeah. it tastes like water. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. 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 Yeah.